Hey, this is Darren from Property Prosperity. Today, I thought I'd have a chat to you about risk. And I know for a lot of you, when I say risk, a lot of people look at that as a bad thing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Um, basically, risk is is uncertainty. You know, it's, it's the unknown. And so for a lot of people, when they think of uncertainty, they think things that are going to go wrong. But likewise, uncertainty can things make, make things go right, basically. So the reason why I think people should learn to love risk is because if you think of it as uncertainty rather than just using the word risk, then you sort of understand if it's uncertain, then I can do something about it. You know, it doesn't, things don't have to be uncertain. I actually have control over, you know, the, the future to a degree. And so when things are uncertain, then what you can actually do is inform yourself and educate yourself and then you actually eliminate a degree of uncertainty. And so the good thing about that is if, if you are more educated, more informed than other people are, then you're in a situation where you can benefit from that. And in the world of property, you know, that the financial benefits of being more educated and more informed than other people can be significant. And so, hey, thanks for the like. So I appreciate that. If you like what I had to say, click on the like button. I really appreciate that. And so, yeah, so basically, um, so that's the cool thing. You can actually don't feel bad about risk because risk, likewise, there's, there's up upside and there's downside associated with risk. But if you think of it as uncertainty rather than risk, the more and more educated you become, the the less risky things are going to be essentially. And so the good thing about that is is other people are always going to be behind you. If you're continually improving and expanding your knowledge, and and you're constantly being more informed than everybody else around you, and you keep ahead of everyone else, then you're in a situation where you can continually be profiting on in front of us other people essentially. And to be honest, you don't really even have to be that far ahead of anybody else really to, to have the benefit of being able to profit out of a deal. So, you know, particularly you're in a situation where someone, hey, Leanne, thanks for joining. Um, you know, if you've got real estate agents selling properties or you've got, you know, you're looking at these opportunities out there, quite often you've got to understand, you know, what the motive behind people, so someone trying to sell their property or a real estate agent trying to sell the property. Everyone has their own motives, their own agendas, or their own things they're trying to achieve out of the property. So you know, just because you go in there with a property developer's mindset doesn't necessarily mean that the other people are thinking exactly the same way. So you know, even though you can actually go out and buy a property at market price, so the thing is a lot of people make the assumption that the property developers are out there you know, screwing people and trying to get a, a crazy low price and trying to make all this you know, money and they're really greedy and all that sort of stuff. The amazing thing about being a property developer, you can actually buy a property at market price and you can actually develop the property, create all this extra value, and then sell it at market price. And so no one's, you know, no one's been ripped off by the whole deal. And the thing is, the person selling you at that price is happy to sell at you at that price because, you know, they're glad to get a fair price for their property. Likewise, when you develop the property, then sell off to other people, you know, they're happy to buy the properties that you're dividing or selling off land or, or subdividing and building a couple of houses, or whatever. They're happy to pay a fair price because essentially they're just buying a house to live in as well. So they're not necessarily out there looking to get a bargain. They're not, they're not trying to do it to make money necessarily. And so what you're doing is essentially you're getting rewarded for the extra value you've created or the, the value you could see in the property that other people couldn't. And so the good thing about this is the more educated, the more informed you can, the more you can see value that other people can't. And so the less likely other pe it is for other people to see the value, the more likely you are to pay a lower price. So you're more likely you are to pay a, a price that reflects, you know, the, the appearance of value to, to other people. But in actual fact, because you're more educated and informed than other people are, you can see this extra value that seems hidden to other people, essentially. So you can go and buy a property, uh, legitimately not pay a fair price, and they're totally happy with the price you got it for. And then you can actually create all this extra value and then sell it off at a, at a much higher price. And the people you're they're buying it off you are just happy to buy the property because you, you're selling it at market price again. So hopefully you can see why risk is, is a good thing and why it's something you shouldn't be you know, afraid of. And, and take, the, take the power back, essentially. Don't, don't feel like it's something you have no control over because risk is just uncertainty. And you can inform yourself and educate yourself. And then you have less uncertainty and, and less risk, basically. So... And also the other thing you do is actually reach out to other people that have, have done it before. And, you know, you don't necessarily have to learn by trial and error. You can, you can learn by teaming up with other people that have done it before and learn from their mistakes and learn from their risk. And so that they've taken on in the past. And so you don't necessarily have to go out there and, and just take a punt. You can get other people to give you advice along the way and making sure you're not going to make the same mistakes they're going to make. 
you know, and it's going to be so much more profitable with you, uh, for you. Because like I said, it's, you know, risk can be upside and downside, but by having someone along the way that's going to hold your hand through the process, it's going to eliminate a lot of the downside and open you up to all the upside um, that you may not be aware of. So, yeah, hopefully it's made sense. And yeah, if you like what I had to say, click on the like button. If you haven't, then still click on the like button because I really appreciate it. And if you've had a situation where hey, you had an opportunity where you saw a, a property, you know, I've, you know, I've bought many properties where it's sat on the market. You know, I was having a chat to another developer the other day. You know, we had this property that's been sitting on the market for like a year, you know, and you drive past it every day and you're like, man, you know, why is no one buying that? And then, you know, you ring up and you find out it's a really good deal. So don't assume that all these really good deals have to get snapped up, you know, overnight. There is opportunities out there all the time. You've just got to open your eyes up to these opportunities and, um, yeah, be aware there's, there's heaps of good deals out there and be aware you don't have to screw people over. You don't have to buy things at a bargain basement price. You have to see more value than other people um, Other people do, essentially. You've got to work out how to create that extra value. And so, yeah, if you've got an experience where you've bought a property in the past where, you know, you've managed to create some extra value and, and it's given you a good return on, you know, and you, likewise, you, you feel that you've done a good job by everybody. You paid a fair price when you bought it and you paid a fair price when you sold it. And it's just purely by what you've done has created that extra value. And that's why you're getting rewarded, basically. So, you know, obviously, there's no guilt in, in that because um, you've, providing a service to the community, basically, in a sense that you're, you know, there's a need for a particular property and you're creating that property for the market and you're getting rewarded for it. So yeah, if you've got a situation, feel free to put a comment in the comment box. If you'd like me to talk about something in a future episode, put a comment in the comment box. I'd love to hear about it. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.